Okay, so uh, as part of buying this Chrysler Windsor 1960 model, the car came with quite a bit of paperwork in the glove compartment, so I went through that. And as you can see here, it's got the original owner's handbook, which is pretty cool. And inside this little sleeve just here, I found, here we go, this note from the Pawnee County Cooperative Association, um, dated to the original owner, or not the original owner, I think the guy bought it, it maybe as a used car, 1965, and there's quite a few uh, insurance uh, receipts going up well into the 80s, so obviously had the car a long time. So that was pretty cool, and then in the same name, and then, yeah, as you flick through, obviously you just can learn more about the vehicle, push button auto transmission, um, you know, the radio, the air con controls, or the, um, the heating cooling controls. It's quite a bit of information here. So it's really cool that this original book came with the, uh, came with the car. It's also got the original factory uh, radio as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it came with a little map, little map sort of um, compartment, I guess, within the glove box itself, which I thought was interesting. I don't know whether that's some sort of an accessory or not. Um, see the convertible there. Mine's not up. That's a convertible to sedan. Windsor sedan. There's a whole lot of things listed here. I assume, I don't quite know what this is for here because this is like a receipt for four-door sedan, 3,050. Then you've got like torque flight, power steering, brakes, all these options. Maybe this is the original. In fact, this is what it is, I think. This is the price maybe from the dealer of what the car cost originally. So you can see four-door sedan, 3,050, torque flight auto, $225, power steering, 108, power brakes, 48, power seats, which it does have, $102, heater and defroster, 102, same price as the power seats, radio, which it's still got, the original radio, $93, white sidewall tyres, $65, um, P dash, I don't know what that means, um, not really power dash, doesn't really make sense, I'm not quite sure what that means. But um, $14, maybe there was an option in the dashboard. Um, someone else could probably comment on that. Wheel covers, which are in the trunk of the car, which I've just washed up, $19. Uh, tinted glass, so it's still got the green glass, that beautiful green glass that the American cars have. That was um, $43. Undercoating, oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's protected the car somewhat. $18, two-speed wipers, $20. So the total was $3,000. $909. So how cool is that to find that are still in the original book um, as well. So yeah, that was really cool. See the engine details there. My car has the 383, the Golden Lion um, engine. And uh, yeah, you can just see there's more information there. So I'll read through. I always like to have the books. Even if I buy a car that doesn't have the original books, then I always buy the books uh, on eBay or wherever, just so I can read through and get all the details. So that's the book. Um, pretty cool. Interesting cover. No picture of the car on the cover. So um, maybe the operating book was sort of generic for quite a few different models. It also came with the uh, certified uh, car care plan from Chrysler. Came with the broadcast sheet, which is pretty cool. So I'll be able to actually look at that and look at the different option codes to work out uh, what options are in the car, but I'd say based on that pricing um, list that I went through, uh, that will um, match up. Uh, I also found uh, an original Kansas registration from 1971, and then there's a whole stack of other ones from the 1980s. Um, so yeah, there's also this little book here. Um, again, it's to do with the owner service certificate. And then uh, some updates on what you should need to know about Kansas automobile legislation. So yeah, and it's all coming in its original uh, book or envelope. And then it comes in this other sort of different uh, envelope here. And it was all in a plastic plastic bag here. Got the old snow or the ice uh, scraper for the windscreen. I don't think I'll be needing that in Australia. But anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you guys. So yeah, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe uh, for more car content. See you next time. Bye.